extra egg out of there. Oh, oh boy, that was quick. She's quick. Hey guys, welcome to a new video, new week, new video. Really excited he'd be here. And what did you guys think of those strangers last week? I'm really excited about that project. A lot of really cool potential with that. Um, but this week we have a really awesome, awesome clutch. These are Hurricanes mixed with Wookie. Two jeans I really, really like. And to my knowledge, it's the first time they've ever been put together. We've got some really explosive results. Let's check out that clutch now. All right guys, so this is the Wookie Hurricane clutch and really excited about putting these two jeans together. This is a standard Wookiee. We're going to start simple and start loading up the jeans as we as they uh, combined, but I want to show a standard kind of Wookiee platform. It's a great morph. It's got some really awesome kind of flaming on the sides, very chocolate, very kind of um, a, like a lighter chocolate brown color overall. A really beautiful, beautiful morph. Um, and big shout out to Josh Jensen who just made the super form of this. Um, you know, it's, it, certainly some people, in, I, didn't, I didn't know if it was true or not, but some people thought, oh, it could be the same as the chocolate gene. But Josh has made a really cool super, which is very different. And like I was saying earlier, <laughs> that's the only way you know the answers to these things is by putting in the work, finding out by, by uh, actually making the animals. And huge shout out to Josh for doing that. So that's the first one. Now we're going to start layering it in a little bit. This is the Wookie Enchi. You see the Enchi brings in a lot of that gold color into the pattern and a lot of the banding. That's the great thing about Enchi is it brings those two kind of features in. But you still see it has kind of this white flaming coming in and up the sides. But it kind of gives it a barred look where it actually kind of um, has really kind of towering side pattern, almost a symmetrical bar across the back. That's a really neat look and I was excited to kind of see that, see how these two jeans interact and what we can do in the future to kind of start adding more things to it. Put that one down. Okay, so the next one is the vanilla version. So this is Enchi Wookie Vanilla. And you see it basically adds a lot more brightness to the same animal. It gives it a really, really, really cool look. And you still see the same kind of barring going on across where you have the pattern going directly over the sides. These kind of towering flames. Really, really neat. I was excited to see that animal too. Then for the next gene, we're going to add yellow belly to it. So this is Enchi Wookie Yellow Belly. And check out that. So in here you see the yellow belly coming in the sides. We got red flames instead of white, which is a result of the yellow belly. And then we also have a kind of that clear white belly. But you see here, the barring is showed. You see it a little bit, but you also see, again, the lots of towering side pattern. Really, really pretty how these, all these genes interacted. Really excited to see it kind of stacking together. You can see here the kind of the evolution of the combos coming together here. All right, so this, this next one is a hurricane. The last two have hurricane, but this one does not have Wookie. So this is Enchi Vanilla Yellow Belly Hurricane. And a really, really awesome combo. It turned out really bright. And the hurricane really amps up the red from the yellow belly. Really excited about how that kind of all interacted. The Enchi also brings in a good element of gold, and the vanilla lightens the whole thing. Really, really pr pretty. All right, the last one is the combo. We finally got one combo of the Wookiee and the Hurricane together. Now the Hurricane and the Wookiee are both dark morphs, and so when they combine together, they make an incredible deep, deep dark kind of blacks and, and almost chestnut colors on the sides. This one also has yellow belly, so this is Hurricane Wookie yellow belly, and so it's got the clear belly, the checkering on the sides. You see, almost has these little white kind of um, kernels on the side coming up. Beautiful animal. Really excited with this interaction, and I feel like this is one of the, my favorite kind of dark interaction of two combos I've ever seen. Okay, so while we're talking about Wookies, I want to make sure I give a huge shout out to the creators, promoters of this project. That's Adam and Lisa Staley with Herb Vault. They really pushed this project early on, and you know, there's a lot of really good projects 
who never really get their due. They never really take off because they don't have somebody who's willing to go to bat for them. And Hurt Ball did a great job of kicking out this project. Um, and although they're not in the industry anymore, um, this project owes everything to them and them getting it going and promoting it early on. So thank you to you guys. This is an amazing project. We're happy to work with it. All right, so we have a really, really cool clutch we're gonna show you guys. This is a pastel DG stripe. Got this from Fireball Reptiles. Um, awesome guys, awesome desert ghost stuff. And she is cryptic or het cryptic. Um, that's something that when I bought her, we didn't know, we found out when we bred her to a clown last year because she made these cryptons really visual and got some insanely awesome snakes out of that clutch. So this is a really cool quad het clutch. Actually, it'd be, it'd be five heads. So here's the cool thing about this is, sorry, this is gonna be a little complicated. Um, so she is, again, a het cryptic pastel desert ghost G-stripe. We'll pull that extra egg out of there. Oh, oh, that was quick. She's quick. So we bred her to a, so she's visual for two recessives and het for another, okay? So we bred her to an orange dream, yellow belly, clown pied. And that's the exciting thing because that right there would be quad hat if you do the orange, you do the clown pied, G stripe, and the desert ghost. But because she's het cryptic, and because it reacts with het clown, we'll be able to see the ones that look like visual cryptics, they will actually be het for five different recessives. So what is, you guys have to excuse my ignorance. What is five heads cause? Is it called pentahet? Pentaheterozygous? That's a lot to say. Pentazygous? You guys, comment below what this should be called. Five heads in one snake. It's another level of putting these long, long-term projects together. Man, she's beautiful. What a beautiful girl. Girls like this, the multi-gene recessive, long-term beautiful girl especially desert ghost stuff i guess is just like they're like gold they're just so beautiful they're such long-term project you can use them year after year for different things different ways and you know they're worth every penny anyhow we'll get her off the eggs see how many we got and look forward to some babies that are het for five different recessives how crazy will that be Okay. They're all loose. Good size clutch. Two, four, six, eight, nine, and then one to put in. Ten. Great. All right, so we have one in the box already. Let's put her, let's take this from her before we don't stress her out any more than we need to. So we'll set them here so we can candle them. They're kind of not really sticking to each other. So we'll get them out here. Oh, try to get a bit. Hey, 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 hey. Um, we'll put them over here and uh, candle them all, make sure they're all veins up. So typically we tried not to do more than 10 eggs in a box. And the reason why is because the eggs actually generate heat as they incubate. Um, and that's part of the, res the reason, in fact, it's the, completely the reason why you see condensation forming on the inside of the tub, because the tub is actually warming up more than the outside air, which, because it's so humid inside, adds that layer of condensation on the inside. Um, so if you have your incubator set to 89, you can expect the eggs inside the box are going to actually heat up to a few degrees over what you have your incubator set to. And that can cause problems if you have a lot of eggs in the box. And it'll actually take and, ink and raise the temperature over what you'd like. So because we have 11 eggs, let me double count that. Three, six, nine, 10, there's 10 eggs. Um, 10 eggs is my max. So we'll go ahead and put all these in the same box. If it was 11, I would split it between two. And uh, we'll candle all these real fast and see where the veins are.
So here's a cool thing. Last year, she was clutch 129, bred to the Pompeii, and she laid on August 18. So here we are on August 19 um, with her clutch. And last year she had nine eggs, this year she had 10, but only one day apart. I find the females are extremely consistent when it comes to lay dates. Um, they can kind of vary by up to a month, but you know, it's really common to see them go on just sometimes less than a week, you know, apart from year to year. So it's kind of neat to see. Update on the blackhead Inchi Lavender. Check that out. We actually had two of them. Um, one of them got conned away from me. <laughs> had to send it out um, to a good buddy. Um, I'll let him announce it when he gets it. But check out that incredible color that's coming in on them. This is what's so great about the Lavender Project, the Inchi Lavender Project. It's just the amount of pink that you can bring in on it. Really excited to see this animal progress. It's already looking absolutely phenomenal. If this was how, as good as it ever looked, I'd be thrilled and I know it's gonna look better and better.